One week ago, Pittsburgh voters narrowly approved a new tax to improve parks and playgrounds. Today, Mayor Peduto introduced his 2020 budget. It calls for no additional tax hike, but does increase spending. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan looks at where the money is going. Since becoming mayor six years ago, Bill Peduto has had an ambitious agenda. And in introducing his 2020 budget, he says his administration is well on its way to achieving those goals. We've made great progress in restructuring government, improving the delivery of crucial services, and ensuring our financial stability. But there's always room for improvement, and Pittsburgh deserves the very best. In the past six years, the Peduto administration has hired more police, more firefighters, and paramedics while more than doubling contributions to the city's ailing pension fund. It's also paved more streets and repairs to crumbling city buildings than administrations past. But those gains haven't come cheaply. Today, he proposed a $608 million 2020 budget, which, while not calling for a tax increase, is about $30 million more than last year's and is a whopping $120 million more in spending than when he became mayor in 2014. A $120 million spending increase is a lot of money, but the mayor maintains that he inherited years of neglect and just about every dollar is needed. If we had an extra $100 million, I could still assure you that there would be things that wouldn't be done. These have been good years for the city in building, construction, and employment, and Peduto has reaped new revenues from wage and property taxes. And voters last week even approved an extra levy on themselves to improve the parks and the playgrounds. But while even city controller and fiscal watchdog Michael Lamb agrees that most of the money is being well spent, he says it shouldn't have fallen entirely on residents and the commercial businesses. We could have had more money over the last seven years had we been working with our large nonprofit organizations and negotiated some payment in lieu of taxes uh, that they should be contributing for the services that we provide them. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.